right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie in the building as always. If you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you are my old returning subscriber, you are highly welcome. Please, if it's your first time of seeing this beautiful face of mine, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let's take this channel to the permanent site, okay? Join this family, okay? Here we do amazing things. So guys, in today's video, I want to be sharing with you all five good lessons I've learned in my life so far yeah the first one is never say never yeah never say never <laughs> guys i can remember growing up i said i will never marry a catholic but guys guess what i ended up marrying a catholic and i can remember again saying um that will never be a stay at home mom. <laughs> but look at me today. Now condition make crawfish bend. So guys, there are so many things I said to myself that I will never do. Things that I, growing up, I condemned, you know. I saw people doing it, I condemned it. And now I find myself doing some of them. So in this life, eh, guys, never say never <laughs> things don't look as it seems at that particular moment at that particular time of your life or when a mentor yes the world changes <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the right translation anyways when a mentor and you never can tell just like a standing fan it rotates it will blow this side and blow this side. So you never can tell. Never say never. So that takes me to the second one. The second one is don't be too quick to judge. Yeah. Don't be too quick to judge. When you see um, situations, people's situation, or when you hear things, don't be too quick to judge. Don't be too quick to conclude. Don't be too quick to condemn. Yeah. Don't do that. Because at the long run, you might find yourself in that person's um, position and you find yourself doing worse than what the person did. You get? So don't be too quick to judge. And this takes me to the third one, which is always ask the question why. It is very important to ask the question why. When you hear something about somebody, don't just conclude, you know, and just start acting on it. On your own, ask the question why. Always ask why. What happened? Why did this person do this? There must be a reason. You get? They say action equals to reaction yeah that is why it's very important for you to ask the question why there is a saying that first they do know the pain <laughs> now second to do now in the pain pass so sometimes when you hear things you get you might end up hearing um the reaction there is this Igbo saying that goes this way which means they have told you what i did to them you know, have they also told you what they did to me that got me angry? Yeah, that is why I said action equals to reaction. So sometimes you hear from one side and you might get to only hear the reaction without hearing the action. So that is why it's very important for you to always ask the question why. When you hear things, ask the question why. Why would this person react this way? Why would this person say this? Why would this happen? Always ask questions why. When you start asking the question why, you will find out the truth of every matter or every situation. Yeah, even in life um, challenges, in life situations, it's very important to always ask the question why. Some certain things will be happening to you. Some certain things will be um, 
going wrong with you, you still need to sit down and ask yourself questions. Why? Why is this thing happening to me? What is happening? What do I need to do? What do I need to change? You know, it is very important to always ask the question why. So, still on always asking the question why. I just want to draw you guys' attention to this recent thread that has been on about pastors. Pastor Paul Enenche, David Ibiome, and Freeze. You and I know that over the years, Freeze has been molesting pastors. <laughs> Sorry guys, my son is here. He's stopping. You and I know that Freeze, he's been molesting pastors, insulting them. I don't know if the if the word molest is right. Anyways. <laughs> you know, but I know you guys understand what I'm saying. And nobody talked about it. Now, Ibiome decided to respond. It becomes a talk of town. Everybody's now talking about it. Everybody has opinion about it. And he's a pastor. Pastor is not supposed to talk in such manner and all that. That is a pastor doesn't make him less of a human that they are pastors it doesn't make them less of humans they are still human they still have flesh and blood eh? see guys the earlier we start seeing these pastors as humans and not god the better for all of us let's quit seeing them as gods and start seeing them as human if you want to know god know god for yourself and moreover it's not easy to be a pastor See, all these pastors you guys see here, they have battles that they are facing every day of their lives. They have their own battles. If you think it's easy to be a pastor, you go and be a pastor now. Open your own church. Open a church. That is when you realize that it's not even easy. It's not easy. Know God for yourself. Know the word of God for yourself. That is my own. And let's stop... Um, all this oppression because I see it as oppressing pastors. Yes, when they respond to criticisms, when they respond to actions against them, people will not start talking. Eh? Where were you guys over the years when Freeze was um, insulting pastors? Action equals to reaction. To me, David simply responded to action against his peace of mind so that is why it's always important to ask the question why when you see things happening always ask the question why why is this thing happening that is it that is my own humble opinion anyways so if you must judge then you need to ask the question why you must ask the question why that is the only way for you to get the actual truth you know and asking the question why brings about solutions if you don't ask the question why trust me you can never get the right solutions so it is very important to ask the question why one for you to know the truth and for you to know the right solution that is all. So moving over to the next life lesson. Do unto others what you want them to do unto you. It's very important for you to treat people the way you want them to treat you. You get? So sometimes it's very important for you to imagine and put yourself and try to put yourself in someone's um, shoes. If I do this to this person. And I happen to be in this person's shoes. What will I do? How will I feel? So always do unto others what you want them to do unto you. Before you take any action on anybody, try to put yourself in that person's shoes. You know? In that way, it will help you to treat people right. And also help you to do unto others what you want them to do unto you yeah last but not the least is never judge people by their past when you judge people by their past they are still living in their past 
trust me you are still living in their past you are still <laughs> dwelling there and they have moved on and at the end of the day they are bigger and greater than you i'm telling you the truth you know the person's past yes perhaps you know you know what the person was doing then but you are not living in the person's present because you are still holding back the past and probably this person must have repented and started a new leave and all that but because you are still holding the person's past you will keep judging the person's past and the person will keep getting better and, and doing better than you because as they are still um judging them based on their past you are behind them you keep being behind them honestly because they have moved on probably they have repented they have changed and they are living a better life you know but because they are holding their past you are still dwelling on their past you are still judging them based on their past you will be too blind to see that they are better than you you'll be too blind to notice that they have moved on they are better off trust me so don't ever judge people by their past change they say is constant this person can change at any time this person can repent at any time and turn a new leaf at any time so you holding their past it's just you deciding that <laughs> ah i'm gonna be behind this person honestly don't judge people based on their past people can change at any time i noticed that recently people don't usually get my notification please if you don't get my notification what you do just turn off the notification bell and then turn it on again please so that you start getting my notification thank you all for watching feel free to share this video share 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 always share my video guys i mm, really appreciate you all um, if you have watched to this extent please don't forget to give me a thumbs up um and comment leave your comments at the um, comment section let me know the life lessons you've also learned in your life so far uh that should be all for this video Bye and see you all in my next video.